Hey everybody, it's your guy, Captain Algebra here, with a response to JLove81's top three NES games that I grew up with that I haven't beaten. Check them out after the break. Alright, so the NES was a console my brother and I grew up with, but I was very young, so it was mostly his. We also didn't have that many games, so coming up with the three games that I hadn't beaten was tough, because most of them I had. Um, so I think there's probably four, at most, maybe five, that I still haven't beaten. One of those was Dragon Warrior, and I'm never going to beat that, because I'm not really into turn-based RPGs. So these other three are games that I'll definitely be beating at some point, I just haven't had a chance to yet. And when I do, I'm going to slap them just for JLo. So without further ado, number three, The Three Stooges. Growing up, we always watched reruns of The Three Stooges because it was one of my dad's favorite shows. I was really young at the time, so I really didn't find them too funny, but I did enjoy the time I spent watching them with him and my brother. This is a pretty simple game, consisting of mini-games where you try and raise money to save the orphanage. Each mini-game is based off various films in the franchise. You get to help a doctor make his way to the operating table while avoiding patients and collecting supplies. Larry needs to get a radio fix and make it back in time to help Curly win a boxing match. You get to throw pies at all the stuck-up people at the appropriately named Hoity Toity Club. And finally, have Curly compete in a cracker-eating contest. I always struggled with the radio minigame as a kid, and I really wasn't sure what the controls were for the pie-throwing game. But what really made this game hard was the hand that selected the minigame moved faster and faster each round, which caused me to land on the mouse traps and lose lives. You can slow it down, but I almost never landed on those spots. Looking back, this game really wasn't that hard. I was just too young to play it. During this capture session, I'm pretty sure I collected enough money to save the orphanage. But then, having this game in this video would have been pretty pointless. Well, he! Oh! He! Oh! Fine! Oh, my neck! How's it feel now? All right, that's good. Number two. Double Dragon 2. My brother and I had the first two games in the series, but I always preferred this one. The gameplay seemed more fluid to me, and the sprites looked better. And like most people, the two-player action really gave this a leg up on Double Dragon. I always had fun playing next to my brother and trying to be as good as he was. Now looking back, he really wasn't that good, so I must have really sucked. I actually loved the music and enjoyed beating the crap out of enemies. I really never got too far as a kid since I had no idea how to do the special moves. The hyper knee is especially effective, even though I can only do it about 50% of the time. Nowadays, I can almost beat it, but the platforming in the later levels always gets me. I also hate the fact that the kick and punch button change depending on which direction you're facing. I'm not really sure of the point of that, but it's pretty annoying even after getting used to it after all these years. Last year, I beat Double Dragon for the weekly retro challenge for the first time, so it was only a matter of time until I knocked this one off my list with the hyper knee to the face. And number one, the one that bothers me the most, because I have to beat this sometime soon. Star Wars. By now, you all know how much I love Star Wars and this game. I played the crap out of this game, even though I usually never got off of Tatooine. I just loved exploring the desert and going in all the caves and the sand crawler. 
It probably would have helped if I knew where to find the lightsaber in the caves. That does a ton of damage, and that just cuts through the enemies like a hot knife through butter. The fall damage also used to kill me. If you fall from a height that's pretty much higher than you are tall, you are taking damage and taking a lot of it. And this game loves to add insult to injury by including a large crash to remind you that you fell too far. Even though you get 10 continues, I always gave up after only using a couple. Nowadays, I can easily get to the Death Star, but I just have not been able to finish it quite yet. If I haven't beaten it by next May, I'm sure I'll attempt another stream of it for Star Wars Month. So there you go. Those are the top three NES games that I grew up with that I still haven't beaten. Hopefully I'll get to them soon. I should be able to beat them pretty easy, especially Three Stooges. That game I was just bad at as a kid. Now, I think I could handle it pretty quickly. So if you want to make your own response video, definitely do that. Just let me know so I can check it out. If you don't want to make a video, go ahead and just post in the comments below the top three NES games that you haven't beaten that you grew up with. So thanks for watching, and until next time, this is Captain Algebra, signing off.